Dollars, dollars go up in value, more supply, and the value drops. Silver collapses because more people mine it. Gold stabilizes because more people mine it. As the price goes up, Bitcoin's price goes up, less people mine it. How crazy is that? It gets less, it gets harder, not easier, not more. There's only less in Bitcoin. Everything else has more attached to it. And this is why I am so secure in an upward price. If you were to ask me, Oliver, well, how long? Let me just put it this way. I believe Bitcoin will have an upward movement way past your life and way past mine and certainly way past mine. And I know some people are saying, well, Oliver, come on, man. Something is going to go up for decades and decades and decades. Well, yeah. Didn't the stock market do that? Didn't gold do that? Hasn't gold been going up in price for a thousand, how many thousands of years? No. Hasn't the stock market been going up over a hundred years? Isn't the historical val isn't the historical length of time that a currency goes up 94 years? Go look that up. The average time span that a currency stays powerful is 94 years. US dollars what? 100? Every asset goes up that gets every provable asset, every proven asset goes up decades, guys. That's It's not strange to think that Bitcoin is gonna go up way past your life. You're gonna pass this on to your kids. And if something goes up forever, for you ever, your lifetime, all right? Tesla's been going up for for what? How long has Tesla been going up for? 20 years? How long has Apple been going up for? Apple's been going up for 30 years, no? So to tell me that I'm strange because I see Bitcoin going up for the next 30 years, and you've seen Microsoft go up over the last 30 years. You've seen Google go up over the last 30 years. You've seen Amazon go up over the last 20, almost 30 years. If you've seen this in regular things, and this is way bigger than an Apple. This is way bigger than a Google. This is way bigger than a freaking Microsoft. This is life-changing. If those things have gone up for 30 years, you think, Bitcoin, the, the network that all of them are gonna plug into. Don't you tell me, I listen to me, read my lips. Read these lips right here, see these lips? Read these. Apple, by the end of this year, Apple, Google, Microsoft, these three things, Amazon, I'm gonna add four, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and if we want to do that, uh-oh, Facebook. Let's take these five things. They've been going up forever, right? Each one of them, by the end of this year, will plug into Bitcoin. They're going to plug something of theirs into that network when it passes $1 trillion. What do you think? Just Apple getting into Bitcoin, what do you think the price is gonna do? It's gonna freaking double in a few weeks. Google, Microsoft, Facebook, they're all, Tesla, they're all coming. Do you understand this? Every one of them will plug into that network and they haven't done it yet and we're accumulating now before they come. You don't even want the price to move yet. Don't, I pray for it not to go up. Do you understand? 
Because when these guys come in, it's going to be freaking stupid in a good way. Stupid good. Not just good. That's not good enough. Stupid good. <laughs> Guys, do you understand what I'm saying? You might not agree with me, but at least do you understand my points? Do you understand what I'm saying? You can't mind more of it. There's not, a, there's not enough Bitcoin to go around for every millionaire in the world. Oh my God. Wow. And some people say, well, Oliver, how can you trust it? Dude, how can you trust the system that you have right now? Do you think your money is where they say your money is? That's, that's not a trustable system.